Hey everyone, Andy from wagertalk.com. We're going to be breaking down the Knicks and the Pistons tonight. An absolute barn burner in the Eastern Conference. Hey, they don't have to be the most exciting games in the world to make money off of. So let's take a look at what's going on here with the Knicks and the Pistons. Both teams obviously really, really struggling here. You've got the Knicks who have one win since February 8th. That was against Philadelphia. There's another team that's uh, falling apart. Pistons, they have not won since February 8th as well when they won back-to-back -back games at Sacramento and at Portland. Looking at the Wager Talk live odds page, we're looking at an 11-point favorite for the New York Knicks. New York Knicks are 11-point favorite, and the total is sitting at 223. So a couple just scores and things to go over before we get to the official pick. And if you guys could, just hit the like button and leave a comment. Tell us what your best bet is for this game. Interesting game. I'm interested to see what you guys think. So go ahead and leave a comment about this one. So Pistons, they kept it within three points with Orlando. They did lose. They lose by 14 to Indiana. They lose by 16 to Phoenix. Lose by 14 to the Lakers. You know, so you kind of see that... They have been losing by this 11-point margin-ish to teams, so I can understand why this line would be here. But, I mean, this is a Knicks team that is just not very good. They just lost by 14 to Boston. They did beat Philadelphia, but, man, Philadelphia is just really, really rough. Wow, some, some of their scoring outside of Maxi is non-existent. Before that, they lose by 18 to Orlando. They lost to Houston. They lost by 14 to the Pacers. Lost by 14 again. To Dallas, so I'm not really sure that this is a Knicks team that should be favored by 11 points. When we look at some of these stats here, we'll take a look at the last 10 games. Uh, we'll start with offense, which uh, obviously you're it's no surprise both these teams are struggling in offense. The last 10 games here, Detroit is 21st in offensive rating, New York is actually 11th in uh in, in rating over the last 10 games, but. If you uh, make that over the last five games, uh, the New York Knicks actually still aren't 12th. So for whatever reason, their offensive rating isn't that bad. Now, when we look at the last five games on the defensive rating, uh, that tells us uh, another story. So um, you've got the you've got the uh, the Knicks dead last. At last five games. So that's kind of where this has been falling apart for them. And the Detroit Pistons, obviously uh, not very good. They're going to be in the bottom half of the league as well, ranking at 17th. But what really jumps out to me is this pace. And this is why my official pick is going to be the under in this game. The Knicks are playing at such a slow pace that there's just not even that many possessions to actually get enough points. Their pace is 91.5 over the last five games. Number one is Washington Wizards at 106.4. And even if we draw this out over the last 10 games, they are still dead last in pace. It's 93.1, and the fastest is Washington Wizards at 105.7. And if you want to just look at an example here, so let's take the Knicks' last game against the Celtics. So... Uh, Celtics win 116-102. Boston had 81 shot attempts, uh, 35 free throw, uh, 35 three-point attempts, and 12 free throw attempts. New York Knicks 82 field goal attempts, 38 three-pointers, and 16 free throws. Let's just take the Suns and the Lakers yesterday on Sunday. The Lakers shot the ball 90 times, 35 of those were three-pointers, and the Phoenix Suns 93 times, and 40 of those were three-pointers. So you're looking at 10 shots per team difference in the shot attempts. So this is a, this is why some of these Knicks games are so low scoring. It's not because the Knicks are playing amazing defense. It's just because they're... They're using every second of this shot clock. So look at some of these scores. Boston, 116-102. That comes in under this 223 mark. Against Philly, way under this 223. Against Orlando, under 223. Against Houston, 223. So the Knicks team, they're just not putting up a lot of points, and they're not letting the, team, the opposing team score a lot of points, mostly because of just how slow this pace is. So the Detroit Pistons, last game against Orlando, they barely come under this number. Against Phoenix, they came under this number. Against the Clippers, they come under this number. So 
Um, they went over against Houston, or I'm sorry, they went over against Indiana, but Indiana's a pretty fast-paced team. So I like the under in this 223. It's going to be close. I'm sure this game is going to land pretty close to 220, but I think there's just not enough possessions that the Knicks are going to allow in order for this game to go over. So the official play is going to be the under at 223 and a half. Uh, what do we have up at wagertalk.com? Well, our hockey run continues... I cannot emphasize this enough that our hockey is absolutely fantastic. We are still at 64% for the year, 4-1 and one over the last seven days, and we have a best bet. It's in a great game. It's in the Edmonton Oilers and uh, Los Angeles Kings tonight. It's a fantastic game, going to be a great game, and that's where our best bet is. Uh, it's a max bet. Uh, it's only $15 up at wagertalk.com. So if you're looking for action tonight, uh, cannot emphasize that hockey has just been an incredible year for us. So go grab that at wagertalk.com. And if you're interested in long term, which I highly recommend, we're up 91 units in 2023. Uh, we're already up seven units in the last couple weeks. So we're having a really good run. Uh, we've got a really nice promo code for a 30 day pass. That's all in 30, A L L I N 30, all in 30. It gets $75 off a 30 day pass. That is going to include. All 5% plays. We already have a 5% play up for March. That will be included as well. It gets all of our NHL plays. We had a nice 2 and one day in NBA props yesterday. So um, you're going to get our UFC, which we cashed a 5% play in over the weekend. So encourage everyone to use that promo code all in 30 It gets $75 off a 30-day pass. Andy Lang at wagertalk.com. We really encourage everybody to try and get those seven days and 30-day passes that we get a longer sample size so you can see exactly what we can do and how we can help you build that bankroll. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Leave me a comment and tell us what your best bet is. And don't forget to hit the like button. Appreciate all you guys. Good luck on all your place tonight. Let's cash in the NHL tonight. Let's get this under on the Knicks and the Pistons.